Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 32, and this is war number 11. We have one war after this one, and then the season is over. And we're going up against an alliance called the Syndicate. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the defense here in a preview. All right. I've already gotten started. Now I take path three in sections one and two. There's no defender on that first one, but then there's a bishop. Now I have fought bishop with warlock pretty successfully. So I might bring warlock in. We'll see. Um, then we've got silver surfer. Honestly, I, I like... Um, I like fighting that one with Nick Fury. So, hmm. Let's see what else we got here. We got a Terax down there. Uh, I won't touch them. Human Torch, if I bring in my Spider-Man 2099, can do that. So could Nick Fury if I bring him. And then we've got uh, two techs. And right now, Alliance Quest isn't on. So I could actually bring in Corvus. Hmm. And then we've got Emma Frost. Corvus could do that fight as well. I'd have to be very, very uh, careful if I used Corvus on that fight. But he could do it. And let's see here. And then we've got MODOK. Ah, have I fought MODOK? With uh, Spider-Man 2099? I'm not sure. Maybe this will be the time. We'll, we'll see. Um, someone may bring a, a better counter uh, for that MODOT. So, we'll see. Alright. Looking at this, Corvus can take both of these fights and possibly that one. So, Warlock really isn't needed because Corvus can also take this bishop. Um, just have to be very careful. Uh, bishop can wreck Corvus if, uh, you know, I degen all the way down and then he hits me with that special one that I cannot evade completely, then it's lights out for uh, Corvus. So that might be a dicey fight. But I'm thinking Corvus, Nick Fury, and Spider-Man 2099. That way, um, if I need to, both Nick Fury and Spider-Man 2099 could take this Human Torch. Corvus can take these two here and pick up a um, couple more charges. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be the play. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so I should have come here first as I was making my plans. You see the team uh, that I'm not going to be able to, to bring in. They have banned Hercules. They banned Corvus. And those are two that I was planning to bring in. You know, if I couldn't bring in Corvus, I could bring in Hercules. It's not usual for them to ban those two. So I don't like y'all for banning two of my favorite champs to use. And I was excited. I was like, man, AQ isn't on, so I can bring in uh, Corvus and he can tear this up. I should have looked to see what champs were banned before uh, I, I settled on bringing in Corvus. So anyway... I've had to bring in a different team, can't bring in Corvus, couldn't bring in uh, Hercules. And if you see the boss, and I believe this was a MODOK boss, uh, I can understand why they banned them. But uh, first fight is with Warlock, and I don't like fighting Bishop. I really don't, but I've beaten bishop with warlock and i've also lost to bishop with warlock and i think it was when i bled him i you know hit him with a heavy attack and then he tore me up 
So I make sure I don't do that. But look at my health. Health is going down, but I was able to take him out before I died. I, I really don't like fighting Bishop. Uh, since his rework, he has been a nightmare on defense. Now, um, Ghost can handle Bishop just fine. And there are other uh, counters for Bishop, but Warlock did the job. We got it done. All right, so next up, you know, I thought about it. I thought about using one of the war boosts against this Silver Surfer, but I said, you know what? Let's not even worry about it. Now, in AQ, I take path eight in section three. And at the end of that path, there is a Silver Surfer. And it's a buffed up attacker and defender path. Meaning he has to have three buffs and I have to have three buffs in order to do any damage at all. It is the fight I hate the most, but I do it all the time. So I'm pretty confident in fighting uh, Silver Surfer. But it's annoying because like here, he is free with his specials. He's not that free in AQ, let me tell you. But look at this, we tore him up. I knew he was gonna do that. So I was already ready for it. Finished him off pretty smoothly and easily. So that's section one. And of course, at this point, uh, I'm usually out of energy. I go to bed, I wake up the next day and I see how far they've gotten. So they've cleared out the middle. All right. And looks like we're cleared out so we can go on to um, path three in section two. And of course we have Claire. So that's exactly who we're gonna use. Had planned to use uh, Corvus. It would have been an awesome, easy fight, but Claire can also handle it, no problem. One thing I have to learn not to do with uh, Guardian I don't tend to fire off a lot of specials. That's not just because I run suicides and I want to avoid the recoil damage, but I don't want to get auto blocked and then retaliated against. So when I'm fighting Guardian, that seems to be the easiest. You see, I'm, I'm not even trying to finish. Now, I did this and I hoped I didn't get auto blocked and I didn't. So I took a chance at the end because I have died when he had a special two. I fired off my special two. He auto blocked and retaliated with a special two and killed me. So I was a little cautious and I figured if I try to do like an intercept with the special, I, I should be okay, but it's it still was a risky thing I did there. Now, we get to fight Ultron, or Ultron Prime, as he is called now. I love Ultron. However, he's pretty easy to fight. Okay, so I'm not too worried about it. You see there, he goes into that evade mode. It lasts for a little bit. As long as you're paying attention, you're not going to get caught by surprise with his evade. I like that. See how I backed off there? You can also just uh, stun him and then uh, hit him with like one or two hits while he's stunned and you won't have to worry about the evade there. But I try to keep track of uh, his mode there. Okay. And it's actually a sneaky good place to put Ultron because to stop his um, regen, you have to parry him. And... Um, Man, they really loving me. Okay. So that went pretty smoothly. And the uh, mini here already taken. So now we come down to mini boss island. And we've got ourselves a situation. We're winning 
at the moment. I don't think I want to take that MODOK with Spider-Man 2099. I've not done that fight, so I'm a little bit wary of it. If somebody else has a better option, like Falcon or Mole Man, I feel safer letting them do it. But nobody was moving. Um, that one guy had already tried this Nimrod once. Now, if y'all saw two, two of my Nimrod fights, you know he got the best of me twice. So unlike some folks, I'm not going to shy away from Nimrod because he beat me twice. That's going to make me want to go after him even more. That's how I go. So here we are. Another face-off, Warlock or Claire, and we're going to fight him, all right? Now, this is a different node, of course, and so I'm looking, making sure I understand the node because I do not want any, any mess happening, okay? And I want to make sure that I got health, okay? And that would happen there. It didn't actually take. This has happened before. Uh, and I went out and it didn't actually heal. So there. Now she's healed. And I'm like, okay. This, it's not quite a rematch. Because uh, it was Warlock that I used. I could have used Warlock here. And I thought about using Warlock. But I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and this here, insurance. Now, like I said, we're winning. We're, we're ahead a good amount, but I do not want to lose to Nimrod anymore. Okay, so there we go. Took off that armor and uh, we're just chewing him up without too much difficulty there. There's his energized, boom. Not worried about it. Now, the other thing that I tend to do, whatever wrecked me before, like when I would lose to, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, Korg's special one. I forced myself to evade his special. And as you can see there, I lost the first time to Nimrod's special two. I got wrecked. But you see, I evaded it there. Okay? Because I am not going to be scared of his specials. Okay? Look at that. I'm going to evade him. All right? Not going to let that, you know, uh, you know, getting hit by it the first time make me fearful. Nope. Not happening. All right, so you can see here, we're handling this fight pretty well. Warlock could have done this fight as well. All right, so um, maybe next time I'll do that. Now, this is unblockable. So if I had tried to evade or avoid evading it and just blocking, that would have hit me. And that probably would have taken me out. So good thing I didn't shy away from it. Jujun. Nope. And he's down. All right. So Nimrod, done and done. Now we've got Ebony Maw. And I fought Ebony Maw on this node before. Um, don't watch, Big Blue. Um, Spider-Man 2099 is an awesome counter for Ebony Maw. Because Ebony Maw's degens are tied to your buffs, nullifying your buffs and that kind of thing. Um, I think one of his uh, is not, but uh, I think one of his, maybe two of his missions have to do with nullifying your buffs. But since Spider-Man 2099 doesn't uh, generate any buffs, it's fine. Now he's on a power gain. Now that I messed up. I was too far away and tried to counter with a heavy. But the more heavies, the better. Because I'll put that wither and we can manage his power that way. So I want to do as many heavy attacks as I possibly can. And I think, you know, as long as you avoid 
the heavy attack. I think that's one mission. Um, the nullify, of course, is not an issue because he doesn't generate buffs. And down goes Ebony Maul. So that's it for my fighting in this war. And we'll be back. And you will find out how this war ended. And we're back and we won this war. Uh, we won the last war, we won this war. I think we are solidly in Platinum 4. We have one war left after this one. And I don't think it matters whether we win or lose. I don't believe winning will get us to Platinum 3 and losing will not bump us out of Platinum 4. So it's gonna be more or less a relaxed war. So that's gonna do it guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.